Today, I want to talk to you about food and how it can have a powerful effect on your brain. Bad food can really increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease and also risk of heart attacks and strokes. And good food can literally rejuvenate your brain, your heart, and your blood vessels. So what you eat on a daily basis, especially once you make it a habit, can have a huge impact on your cognitive abilities, on your anxiety, on your mood, and your sleep. So it's important that you learn what to eat and what not to eat. So I recommend to all my patients to follow a diet that has three components, food that reduces inflammation, food that increases blood flow to the brain, and food that increases levels of BDNF, which is the miracle grow and is essential for brain vitality and rejuvenation. What things increase inflammation in the brain? Fatty food and sugar. Fatty food, especially things that are high in trans fats, are really toxic for your brain. Studies have shown that people have high levels of trans fats, things you see in French fries and poorly prepared pizza and canned food and boxed food and things that you know are bad for you, cookies, those kind of things. When the levels are high, the levels of trans fats are high in the blood, cause a shrinkage of the brain. Higher the levels of trans fats, the smaller size of the brain. So that's a no-brainer. You don't want to eat that kind of junk food. And pure sugar is also bad because it spikes levels of glucose in your blood, and insulin doesn't have time to put all the sugar away, and the high levels of sugar go all over your body and cause problems for multiple organs, including, including your nerves and your brain. You want to eat things that are high in complex carbohydrates, things like fruits that have um, complex carbohydrates which do not spike sugar levels in your blood. So the first thing you want to do is to avoid sugar and fatty foods, especially those that are high in trans fat. Two, you want to, do, you want to eat food that increases blood flow to the brain. Things that include blood flow are things that are good fat food that include good fat. The monounsaturated fatty acids are good for you. You find these in, for example, avocado on walnut. Another good fat is uh, extra virgin olive oil. There's something about extra virgin olive oil that's much better than all, than all other types of oils, and I strongly strong recommend it. So you want to eat fruits and vegetables. You want to eat things you find in a farmer's market not the kind of things that you find in boxed food or canned food. Number three, you want to eat food that increase BDNF levels. There are a series of food that increase BDNF levels. Those include omega-3 fatty acids. These kind of fatty acid supplements are wonderful for your brain because about 40% of the membranes of brain cells are made up of these kind of fatty acids, and so consuming High levels of omega-3 fatty acids are really good for your brain and also good for your eyes. I recommend about 1,000 milligram of omega-3 fatty acids that include DHA and EPA. Other uh, sources of uh, food that increase levels of BDNF in the brain are inc uh, include uh, blueberries. Blueberries are my favorite fruits because they're just the bombshells of antioxidants, which are really good for the brain and also help increase levels of uh, BDNF. Caffeine is good. I recommend one or two cups of coffee a day, not more than that. Cocoa, what you find in dark chocolate, is also good food and uh, it's good for you. And also grapes. I love grapes and they do help to increase BDNF levels in the brain. In summary, you want to eat healthy food that you're familiar with. You want to avoid fatty food and increase levels of uh, leafy green vegetables, fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, and kind of things that you know are healthy for you. It's really not rocket science. You've heard this before. But what you may not know is that these kind of food, which together uh, we can recommend as a Mediterranean diet, do wonders for your brain. If you eat Mediterranean diet on a regular basis over a 20-year period, according to many studies, you reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease by 48%. And if you have regular physical activity on top of eating a Mediterranean diet, you reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease by 65%. So these simple interventions can have huge benefits for your brain. And it's really uh, important that you take your time, 
to see what you eat and think twice when you reach for a cookie or a donut because those things are really bad for you. Please follow these simple rules and make it a habit and you'll be very happy both in the short term and in the long term. Good luck.